Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and I am here with a quick tip. If you are interested in stickers for your Lego City, there are several ways to do them. You could go on BrickLink and buy the original stickers, or if you just want some fun stickers, why not pick up one of these Ultimate Sticker Collections that were put out by DK Books several years ago. They still are available brand new on the secondary market if you look hard, and I've actually even seen some in store. So I don't know if they're still publishing these or not, but they are really cool. These are Adrian's, and um, if you remember uh, back in the day, a few years ago, they produced these books, and basically Basically what they were, they were storybooks. And just like the great Lego books that we have today, um, they told a story and they told about the different Lego pieces and, and, and city pieces and all that kind of stuff. So you got a lot of great eye candy, but also they came with these blank spaces and it was your job to go back to the back of the book and find the stickers that would fit in each one of these story pieces to complete the story. So you have some really cool stickers available to you. Um, they're great just for sticking anywhere, to be quite honest with you. Um, but they're also great um, because you have all of these big stickers as well. Um, and you do have some big signs and things like that. So if you had a six by six tile and you had a beach scene, you could put that up on the beach, for instance. Um, there's some stickers in here that you could possibly use uh, for uh, uh, various different things. Um, that shield tile, for instance, you could use that on a uh, probably a uh, four by two tile and that would fit perfectly as well. But what the magic is with these books is they came with about six or eight of these pages. Now these are absolutely fabulous pages because each one of these stickers would fit perfectly on a two by two finishing tile. So for instance, if you have a hospital scene and you want to put a sign up with the hospital, put this on a white finishing tile, two by two, and voila, you have an instant hospital sign, medical sign. Lego stickers for a Lego store. Um, different types of traffic stickers. And of course you have all the fun stickers as well with the minifigs and things like that. Um, but there are all sorts of cool stickers in this book that you could use. Um, there's a cool one that you could use uh, as a traffic signal, that sort of thing for construction. Now, of course, there's all kinds of big stickers as well, but the magic really happens when you go to the back of the book um, and in between some of the, and it's kind of hard to do here holding the camera, and uh, there we go. But you can just see all of the amazing stickers in this collection in this particular book. And so you could use those on finishing tiles. There's a fire station, another shark sign, airport signs. There's a money, th uh, money for a bank all kinds of stuff that you could use um, these stickers for. So if you happen to pick up one of these on the secondary market, or if you happen to see um, one of these books that has the complete stickers, make sure if you buy it on the secondary market, you make sure the stickers are still in it and not stuck to the book, um, because that would be kind of a waste unless you just want to read the stories and stuff, which are really cool to be quite honest with you. And there are so there is some pretty good eye candy in terms of sets and stuff like that in here, and some really kind of fun humorous stories. Um, but these are great. They're great, particularly for the mini stickers, the two by two stickers that you can put on two by two finishing tiles and have all sorts of signage and things like that in your Lego city. So that's all I have for this quick tip. This is Dr. Big Brick signing out.